Hello everyone, this is Jay from Python in Office. Welcome to another tutorial on using Python to increase your work efficiency. If you work with Excel a lot like I do, you must have had experience combining several worksheets into one file. For example, you might have some sales reports from different sources, and your task is to combine all sales records into one place. In this tutorial, I'm combining only two files. However, technically, you can combine as many files as you want. A thousand or ten thousand is really up to you. In these two sample files, there are more than one tab that contain data. And I want to get data from all the tabs from each file. There are actually seven tabs in total. And notice that in these sample files, the sheets have the same structure or columns just different data inside. Our goal is to combine data from all these seven tabs into one Excel table. This is a super tedious job if we do it manually, but we can use Python to help out. So we are going to need two Python libraries, OS and Pandas. Let's first store the folder path into a variable so that we can reuse it later. The R string here is just to avoid any confusion that these uh, backslashes might cause. And we're going to start off by creating an empty data frame. We can show all the files within this destination folder by using list dir, which returns a list of file names in string. Now looking into this folder, you'll notice that there are only two Excel files and several other file types. So all we care is these two Excel files, and we don't care about other files. We can use a for loop to go through all the files, and we'll perform a check if the file extension or the file type is an Excel file. So basically, if the file name ends with .xlsx, then it means this is an Excel file. If yes, then we're going to load the entire Excel file into Python. We can also find all tab names within this file, and then loop through all tabs to load the data into Appendix data frame. Then we append the data frame. This append operation basically just keeps adding new data to the bottom of existing data frame. And the loop is done, we can run it. Once the code is done running, we'll save the aggregated data into a single Excel file. So now that's done, let's take a look. Here we go, this is the combined file. Essentially, we should have all the items from those seven tabs that we were looking at. Let's check that quickly. So how many different items do I have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There you have it. Just a few lines of simple Python code that can help you a lot. If you need any clarification or have any questions, feel free to leave a comment below and I'll respond as soon as I can. If you find the video helpful and want to see more content like this, please subscribe and click the like button. It helps me a lot and I really appreciate it. That's it for today. I'll see you in the next tutorial.